Hi there and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 2. Yes? I'm Baron. It shall be. And we should move to Trade Meet. I know we already did that at the end of the last video, but apparently there is a battle going on here. What is my task? I'll test your metal with cold steel. A few animals are ticking out. You point it just so I'm sword. I stand not right. And we have to send our shock Where troops Minsk goes evil to protect the militia. Kill the spider. Tom, I will strike you down. Okay, so I guess the only one that survived is the militia wizard. I am one of the few who are chosen. I am a member of the militia here, but I am also a magic user. Most of my magic is used to enforce fair play amongst the merchants. A practice set for us by Joaquin. That's all you have to say after all your friends got slaughtered by animals. Oh well. Uh, at least we saved one wizard. On my honor. Minsk and Boos and jump on my sword while you can, evil. I won't what be as require? gentle. What do you have to say? Eddie, citizen. You're not from here, are you? You'd best be careful then, my lord. We've already arrested one druid for being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm sure you don't want to be the next one, I. Right? Well, you can try to arrest me. But maybe yes. I will not comply. So let's get into that tent here. Who are you, Wilfred the Red? I will do my best. Good day to you. Ho, oh, friend, welcome to the tent of pleasure. Ha <laughs> ha! I have been here for over a week myself, and I can tell you that the prices are well worth it. Who are you? The name is Wilfred, Wilfred the Red of Lusken, although I'm sure you've probably heard of me. Heh, <laughs> adventurer extraordinaire and currently living off the excesses of my most recent plunder. It's quite a story, a tale for the ages you might say. You wouldn't happen to be a bard, would you? Well, I'd be happy to regale you with the story anyway, if you're willing. I'm listening. Great, so anyway, there I was traveling through the Toral Hills, right? I come across this large cavern, warm steam coming out of it, and the forbidding smell of brimstone and such. A dragon, I think to myself, and being Wilfred Red, the great adventurer, I walk in and challenge the dread beast. Thirty feet high he was, with a wingspan easily three times that, red as blood and eviler than a cockatrice in May. I slew the beast naturally, after a valiant struggle. A few minor scotch marks were all I suffered for felling the beast, and its hoard was mine, more gold than you could possibly imagine. To bad I was by myself at the time, I could only gather as much gold as I could carry, still it was enough to make me plenty wealthy, plus it was a good deed which is my forte. Hmm, I'm wise enough to see right through your story Wilfred, you're lying. I, I, ah, oh, alright. I was I was traveling through the troll hills with my caravan and I uh, got separated from the team uh, from them when I responded to um, uh, a call of nature. I was lost and when I thought I heard them close by I ran to catch up. I uh, stumbled and fell into a cave of sorts. There was a dragon there, a small one, and he was um, sleeping. So I helped myself to some of its gold and I uh, got out as quickly as I could. Please don't tell anyone, I've got a reputation to uphold. I'll do anything. Oh, oh, here, here, take this. Just don't tell anyone. I'm so embarrassed. And we get 1000 gold and 1000 XP. Stop moving. Who are you? Anna Lin, and you are? Mistress Jen. 
A pleasure to meet a socially acceptable person. Well, such it's as about yourself. time that Moron finally left. He's giving me such a headache. All I want is to do is sleep. I'm taking uh, some time off of this racket. Okay, what do you have to say? Well, if you want to go strapping with this nab, you'll first have to give up the socket money. Greetings to you, patron. I'm Mrs. Jean, proprietor of this tesha, uh, pleasure tesha plant or pleasure tent. If you are intent on hiring a companion and taking advantage of her services, you have come at a poor time. Yeah, I guess the only girl just left. No, there she still is. Or not? The genies that have come to our poor town have deprived, deprived almost everyone of coin. I've had to send most of my girls away for lack of customers. <laughs> Perhaps something will be done <coughs> will be done about those creatures soon. You would accept that the Mayor Lord Logan would do something. My last girl Annalyn has requested a break now that that Wilfred fellow is finally gone. I can't thank you enough by the way, so I shall have to see if I can find a replacement or two. Until those genies are gone, however, I'm sure I'm not sure any of the girls will even want to come back. Ah well, the life of a madam, hm? What genies? Yes. Wow, adventure. I don't like it here. The people aren't rum and they're mean. What's rum? Rome? Like the city? No. That would have been an E at the end. Hmm. Good day to you. Ahoy there, my lord. You all are adventurers, aren't you? My name is Jidek and I intend to be a great warrior adventurer just as soon as my parents let me leave. Okay. Greedy see you, good man. You are welcome amongst our family of Rome. Oh, that's the family now, okay. And I offer you whatever hosp hospitality I may. My name is Master. Perhaps you wish to have your fortune told by my wife? Yes? Maybe. Are oh, you a fortune teller? Well met and welcome. I greet you, strangers, on behalf of my family and in accordance with Rome tradition. I am Querus Lava, the mother of this family and its heart. If you wish, I can tell you something of your place in the future. A mere ten gold piece should be, should you desire the benefit of my gift inside, good man. Okay, do we desire that? I think we do. Certainly, ten gold it is. As you wish. Come sit beside me, good man, and I shall take a hold of your hand. Close your eyes and let Quero's lover feel your aura. You are a strong man. You have powerful blood and uh, a destiny that shines so brightly. It is, it is the blood of a god that flows in you. But you are not alone. There is another. Another who calls to you for help. And I see a man. A dark man whose life has been taken from him. I see this other. She screams, she screams, there is a beast. A terrible, a beast of terrible power. And a dark man, this exile. He smiles, he smiles. I, I know, no more. But please forgive me, good man. Your path has overwhelmed my limited gifts. You frighten me. I wish you good fortune. Oh well. This does not bode well, does it? <laughs> no, we shall see. Always one crisis at a time. That's what I say. Let's go into this tent here. Very well. Have a look at my wares. Greetings. I am Rafi, the caravan master for our group. At least I was until those damn genie drove me out of business. Joaquin would never have allowed this to happen if she were still alive to watch over us. Those genies have moved in and swallowed all the trade routes. They mesmerize every caravan that comes in, including mine. They make you take a poor penny for all your gold, uh, your goods, and there's nothing Lord Logan Corpus can do. Well, don't sell it to them then. Bah, it makes my mouth swim with bile. I don't know if I'll even have enough coin to have the caravan return to Moran now. Sell it to somebody else I'm then. So Greetings, good customer. A pearl to I you. never imagined that we would be doing such great things. Good day to you, stranger. I'm Sela here, 
wife of Rafi, who runs the caravans here. I, I wish we could offer you a uh, better hospitality, but with those genies here, it's all we can do to stay alive. Alright. What genies? Done. Oh, that's a genie. Cities always tea with evil and ha, decay. You are a strange one, Let's mortal. You are male, and are you see not? What falls out. I have not seen many of your kind. Do I look around then? Fafira. As you ask. Be gone from me, mortal, lest you serve the Khan. Speak to he if you dare. Who? Khan Sarah. Greetings to you, Wayfarer. I am Kanzara of Kalimshan, a Dao Jin, at your service. What would a Kalim what would Kalimshite genies be doing here in trade meet? Ah, oh, this does beg a question, mortal, does it not? The Dao would not normally choose to make such a place our home, not even temporarily indeed. Suffice it to say that we have come on a service hunting a criminal of some repute from Kalimshan, a Rakshasa by the name of Itafea. Rakshas, if you have never encountered them, are devious shapeshifters and thieves. I think we already slew several of them uh, during our career. We have followed this particular prey for quite some months now, and she has eluded us at every turn. That's probably because you're stupid. We have grown tired of this chase. We know that Itafir Ita lies hiding in this area in mortal form, so the Dao have taken over the trade of this town. We dow by all that comes here, you see, and charge prices too high for the mortals to afford. And we will not relinquish it until the mortals find this Rakshasa for us. Eventually they shall run out of their food and such and they will become desperate enough to do it. Or not. Regardless, the hunt is less taxing and far more amusing this way, don't you agree? Hmm, can I take a look at your goods for sale then? Ah, this way for us a potential customer. While you may find our prices high, little mortal, you will not find a better selection in this town, that is certain. Ha <laughs> ha. What do you have then? Okay, a few bullets plus two. It's not that steep actually. Plus one. I'm sorry, but that stuff is not too good, actually. Ah, it is one of our wayfarers once again. Why Tell do you call yourself what can Dao? The, Dao do for you this time, my the clans of Jin are beyond the can of most mortals, as this I understand. It is a complicated thing, where for Rayfarer. Suffice it to say that I am a Jin of the family Dao. Yes. What do you know about these animals' attacks on the town? Nothing at all. We do not concern ourselves with the affair of these mortals overmuch. They are being attacked by beasts, are they? Most amusing. So, what can we do about this Rakshasa? Hmm. What would you say if I found this Rakshasa for you? Hmm. I would say, mortal, that I wish the head of this Rakshasa returned to me. And once that was done, despite the amusements we have found the Dao would return to Kalimshan. Do you have any idea where this Rakshasa might be? If we knew where she was, we could go and collect her, yes? As a shape changer, I am sure she hides in the form of yet another Tars or mortal. It is a tactic of her kind you it's a tactic her kind uses often. It is doubtful that she and her companions actually reside in the town itself. The appetites and predict predilections of a Rakshasa would not keep her hidden among you for very long. But we are sure she is somewhere in the area, perhaps hidden and preying secretly upon the mortals as the Rakshasa do. But who knows really, she could be anywhere. Why little mortal, do you intend to bring Itafir's head to us and end our stay in this dreary little place? We look forward to a mortal finally ending this business. Very well, I will attempt to find this workshop and bring her head back to you. 
Ah, this is a good thing. The Dao wish you well on your hunt then and await eagerly the sight of Itafir's head. Yeah, well, great. I'm a headhunter now. There's another thing. What's inside? Who are you? Consider it done. You'll find no better prices in arm. I guarantee it. I'd sell you some of the goods from the caravan, but there'd be none to sell. The genies keep magicking our fee into selling them everything we have. Until those genies are gone, we merchants can't sell anything to the town. And the town's merchants won't have anything to sell anyone. And our fee's broke. It's a terrible state. Oh, really? Kalamshites, Tetherians, Wardavians, they all make their way here eventually to Arm, they do. I was driving car a caravan through the forest just west of here and we were attacked by a horde of bears. Bears! All that trouble and then Rafi goes and sells everything to those genies. Ah. Ah. Keep it. Not taking your last two gold pieces. Hmm? I'm not that evil. So, well, what do we have here? The trade meat market, the pub, the mayor's house, the temple of Joaquin, an estate, Thierry's home, the smithy, Fenton home, oh, Massey Fenton's home, and the crypt, and another estate. Fine, let's go in here and see what we can do, or we should save. Just in case we do something stupid. So, one militia mage survived the attack of the animals. What do we have here? Let's go down here. Oh, it's 8 p.m. actually. Come on, where's the rest of the party? Looks. Nothing we need. What's in here? I'll take the ring. Is a horse, of course. Oh, Roddy. Roddy, Roddy Piper? Uh, it's a fine enough day, isn't it? You know, I used to be a ranger myself. Hmm. And I know why it is that all these animals are turning on us. I do. And why would that be? It's the gods. They've turned on us all. We have done wrong here in Trade Mead. We are supposed to be fair and all. Walking well, herself commanded it. Oh. But now Joaquin goes and ev Joaquin's gone and everything everyone thinks that means they can go ahead and cheat you. Nothing here but cheats, thieves and liars now, yep. And which would you be? Ah, you're yeah, just going to be washed away by the rest of this blasted town. Just you watch. So, the mayor's house. Let's see what he has to say about the whole... Trouble and trade meat. There's a door. Who are you? Guildmaster. I wait your Buzia. word. Buzia. Guildmistress Buzia. Lord Logan's guard. You are a stranger to this town, are you not? I'm, I'm surprised. surprised you were allowed to come within the walls. You will find yourself unwelcome here. Why is that? And indeed, if you come to trade me to take advantage of our excellent market, then you have come in vain. Between the druids and other problems, there's nothing to purchase here. Ah, just who are you anyway? My name is Buzia, and I'm the mistress of the merchant guild and trade mate. Once we promoted fair and honest trade here, but as of late, my title is rather meaningless. Uh, when you said there was nothing to purchase here, did you mean because people won't sell to a stranger? No, I mean there's nothing for you to buy. At least not from the merchants and peddlers that have traditionally sold things here in trade meat. 
if you are truly desperate you can go to the Daojin that have set up their tents outside of the main gates. Hmm. The prices are exorbitant but they own everything there is to sell. The caravans will not come because of the dangers and the few that have come only do so at the behest of the vast amounts of gold that the Dao seem to have flowing from their pockets. Is there nothing you can do about these Dao? Hmm. Until these animal attacks are stopped there is no point. If you are truly serious about helping come and talk to me once that business is ended. Uh, what other problems were you referring to then? It's nothing you need concern yourself with stranger. It is enough to say that our town is in danger of collapsing. There's nothing here for you to purchase. Um, okay. Let's open that door here. So you're the mayor. High merchant, Logan, Copra. Greetings once again. Hail, good people, and I welcome you to a trade meet. Might not the worried stares of our citizens while you're here. Strangers are not easily trusted these days. Yours is a decent face, however, and I bear you noble. My name is Lord Logan Coprith, and I am the high merchant of this place. May I ask why you are the high merchant? You look more used to armor than finances. I spent much of my career in the military, but other duties called me here. My family was influential, and it fell to them to provide a mayor for trade meat. Perhaps finances are not my best skill, but the guard has benefited from my discipline and I have improved security. There's only so much that can be done, however. Trade meat has been here for generations, but now we are harassed from the strangest of sources. Hmm? Continue. It has been a very difficult time for the local merchants. The very land is against us, animal attacks and um, even the foliage strangles. It began subtle, but now we suspect a dark mind behind it. Until recently we did not know where to place the blame, but now the people have found a target. The last group attacked saw several figures directing the chaos. Druids belonging to a group that has long been peaceful. The people apparently captured one. Had I not locked him up, they would have quartered him in the street. Hmm. And has he confessed? Or have people condemned him for being a druid? That is my dilemma. He claims he is here to investigate the druids and I believe him. Unfortunately many of our citizens already believe him guilty. Nothing less than a public burning will satisfy an angry mob. Well then don't satisfy the mob. This druid remains behind bars as much for his own protection as anything what else. What I would have you do is escort him to his task. Or see to it yourselves, whichever you prefer. I would seem uh, to be collaborating if my man or I were to help him but alone and alone he may not make it out of town will you help well I will speak with him and see if I can help if there's anything I can do I will do it I thank you I will allow you to pass so you might speak with him he may leave under promise of your care keep me appraised of the situation uh, probably not My party is full. I don't need another druid. I have Jahira. By the way, Jahira, can you shape shift? I so happy you brought me with you. Do a black I never bear, imagined wolf, that we would be doing bear. such what is great my things. It shall be. Oh, I take that. Nobody needs the rest. Should sell a few items. On my honor. I am ready. I can dance on the head of a pin as well. But you can't get in there, huh? What do you require? Consider it done. What do you need? I am skilled in fleet of foot and all that. Apparently no traps. Just money.
Yes. So there's another door here. I will here. do my best. Wait, did I check that? I guess we have to go down. Oi, it's pretty dark in here. Open yes. the door. I have been in a similar place as this before, though it was in the company of other harpers. I will miss those times. There must be a way to reconcile this matter. I doubt that it will be that easy. Galvaray was as close to original Nita as the Harpers have. The events will be told from his favor, I'm sure, while he's dead. Then there's no need to fret about it. We know the worst and can prepare. Yes, I suppose there is some peace in this. There is little that could happen to make this verse that we will prepare is also pleasing to me. No better comfort could I ask him, which will blow me. I will continue to stand for you if you do the same for me. Together we can... together... I'm sorry. I'm a bit out of sorts. Let's continue this another time. Oh, Jahira. So, what do we have here? I'm not worried. I'm sure these setbacks okay. are temporary. Yes, sound. Apparently the cells are all empty. Hello, and well met to you. I am CERNED, though my identity is surely no secret after the fuss I have caused here. That's true. You look pleasant enough. Uh, are you friends of that charming Lord Coprith? I have made very few friends among the merchants. Mm, Lord Coprith sent me. I am to escort you out of town and help in any way I can. He seemed less prone to rush action, though the merchants had little reason to trust me. I arrived not long after an attack, so I must have seen uh, suspicious. Seemed suspicious. I should have crept quietly as the vine instead of blustering as the wind. On occasion, I forget the subtle subtleties that allows nature to progress. Ah, the blight shall pass, and I will return to cultivate better locations when the time is right. What has poisoned their opinions? Their leader is sensible enough. I'm not quite sure, but I have suspicions. I will tell you what I know of this. I am CERNED, as I said, sent from the north to investigate why the roots of this uh, region uh, have severed their ties with the traditional hier hierarchy. It is not unheard of, but the attacks have me worried. I can it can only lead to great, uh, greater evils. These people will eventually strike out as an animal concerned. No, Cornot. Yes, I see you have a druid with you. Jahira, is it? She will also be concerned, for she will know the danger of balance lost. I know many druids in this region. They would not support such actions without due cause. I suspect that there has been a change in leadership here. It is the duty of any druid to find this new leader and ascertain if this is for the best of nature. The attacks on the merchants only serve to alarm me. I might succeed alone, but I would much rather have the backing of a group, one that will also benefit from my service. Are you up for the task? Yeah, I will help as best I can, but I do not wish any more traveling companions. You adopt his course, but not his company? Uh, as you wish, but I will make certain the matter is given due attention in his absence. I will mark uh, its location for you on your map. Do hurry, what transpires there will regrettably affect others outside of the order. Okay. When he leaves, or what? I'm so happy you brought me with you. Yeah, I mean, Jahir I shouldn't be upset that we don't take him, you know, son, in the party, because we have her. 
we don't need two druids. That would be really nah. That was that would unbalance Very the party. Well. And I don't wanna uh, kick Jahira out of the party. Because she's, you know, she's a druid fighter. She's quite capable in battle. Where's the door? Here? Done. Plus, she's Haywood's love interest, so. Hmm. What do we have here? As you ask. Okay. Can you go up here? Is there? There's no priest here. Oh, there, there are priests. Ball. The gods are unforgiving, fool. Hmm. Be gone. I have many duties to perform, and no time to waste on one such as you. Okay. Maybe he's more friendly. I welcome you with outstretched hand. Yeah, he's friendlier. Welcome to the Temple of Joaquin, supplicant. Is there something that I can do for you? I thought Joaquin was dead. How can you still worship her? Contrary to the belief of some, my boy, Joaquin is not dead. She is simply missing. The goddess of joy, Liliara, Liara grants power to her worshippers in her stead for now. Some have indeed abandoned the Wokenia faith for Liara, Shaundakar, or Timora, things thinking she will never return. But this town was founded by Wokin, we cannot abandon her. I have faith, child, and that is more than enough for most here in this town, you will see. You are not going to throw me away because I'm a stranger? Certainly not, my boy, Wokin is the goddess of trade. How would it look if I turned you away simply because we have never met? That's true. No, you are welcome in the home of the merchant's friend. Of the rest of the people in this frightened town, I cannot speak for them. I simply pray that things will change. Okay, what do you have then? Could buy a few restorations, crawls. Okay. What? Containers full? Shit. What is my task? Maybe I have to buy another one. Oh well. So what else do we have? Shall we take a look at that? As it fate? shall be. Oh, it's late. We will take a break. That's what we're going to do. So thank you very much for watching, and see you soon.